one of the scariest things in the world is nuclear weapons. Imagine the nuclear weapons falling into the wrong hands. That will send shivers down your spine. So how can we prevent the nuclear weapons from falling into the wrong hands? While the ready-to-go nuclear weapons are under a good security to prevent from misuse, we should be able to prevent the unauthorized transport of nuclear raw materials. Since we cannot identify the nuclear raw materials by looking at them, we need some special devices. All nuclear raw materials break up naturally and release particles called neutrons. The neutrons can be detected by some materials made into a device known as neutron detector. Most neutron detectors use helium as a detector material. The imminent shortage and high price of helium means we need an alternative. I'm working on a potential detector material known as depleted uranium oxide. It consists of depleted uranium and oxygen. Depleted uranium, a byproduct of nuclear reactor, is stored in the form of toxic and chemically unstable compound known as depleted uranium hexafluoride. Currently, the United States has a stock of 700,000 metric tons of depleted uranium hexafluoride. The Department of Energy is converting this chemical into a harmless and chemically stable compound known as depleted uranium oxide. That means the material I'm working on is available easily. The way our detector works is pretty simple. The neutrons released from nuclear raw materials can be absorbed by the uranium atom, thereby splitting into high energy fragments. These fragments can generate charged particles on the detector material. The charged particle moves, moves through the detector material because of a battery connected across it. The flow of charge called current can be measured with a suitable device. In this way, the nuclear raw materials can be identified by detecting the neutrons emitted by them. This will help in preventing the unauthorized transport of nuclear materials, which is the best way to counter nuclear threats. Thank you.